Hello there, this is Jupiter Today for the 8th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's nine Jupiter satellite events and two satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east, along with Europa, also in quadrant one heading east. Both are going to be going through their eastern elongation pretty soon. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant three heading west, and Callisto spends one more day in quadrant four heading east. At zero hours 39 minutes, Ganymede's shadow egresses. And then at 407, Europa goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 677,428.4 kilometers. And then at 442 UTC, Eo goes through a perigee, and that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 420,056.8 kilometers. By six hours UTC, Eo has passed its eastern elongation and is in quadrant two, heading west, along with Europa. From 8.05 to 8.11 UTC, Ganymede occults Callisto. It's a 6.6 minute event, pretty shallow impact parameter though, 0.73 arc seconds, so this is just a grazing occultation. Estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.055 magnitudes, and a very nice distance away from Jupiter, 128.09 arc seconds. So I encourage photometric measurements of this grazing event. You never quite know what you're going to see when those things happen, and they don't happen very often. So this is a pretty rare event that uh, could be measured by someone. It happens in about eight hours. At 1128 UTC, the transit of EO begins. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is transiting. Going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. And Europa is now firmly in quadrant 2 heading west. At 12.36 UTC, EO's shadow ingresses. At 13.45 UTC, the transit of EO ends. And at 14.53, the shadow of EO egresses. At 18 hours UTC, EO has now successfully transited and is firmly in quadrant 3 heading west and Europa is soon to begin its transit. At 1934, that transit of Europa begins. At 2153 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 2226 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. From 2254 to 2259 UTC, Europa occults Callisto. It's a six minute event with an impact parameter of 0.19 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.1211 magnitudes. But it's very close to Jupiter, 6.93 arc seconds. So maybe not worth the effort, but a photograph of this event or a movie of this event might look pretty neat. At 2351 UTC, Callisto moves behind Jupiter. And then at zero hours UTC, EO is near its western elongation, going into quadrant four, heading east. Europa has successfully transited and is now in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede still in quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto is going to be moving into quadrant one, heading east, but for now, going to be moving behind Jupiter. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's Eo and Europa, Eo and Ganymede, Eo Callisto, Europa Ganymede, Europa Callisto, and finally Ganymede Callisto. And I combine all these and play with the colors a bit to get this.
And that's a pretty interesting three-dimensional shape. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Jupiter's sky from Ganymede's point of view. Just to get yourself situated, here's Jupiter. Here's Io, here's Europa, here's Callisto. So let's run the next 24 hours on the equator of Ganymede to see how it's going to look from there over the next 24 hours. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. First at 747 UTC and the next at 1743 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, zero minutes, 28.8 seconds, and a declination of positive 18 degrees zero minutes 19.9 seconds the angular separation between jupiter and the sun as seen from earth is 114.745 degrees and that's 0.987 degrees less than what it was yesterday the phase angle is 9.784 degrees and that's 0 0.082 degrees greater than what it was yesterday the distance between jupiter and the earth is 726 million 94,975 kilometers, and that's 2,163,305 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And it gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 90,137.71 kilometers per hour, and that's 734.5 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Earth and the Sun and Jupiter and the Sun is 800,400,348 kilometers and that's 43,647 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday and that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,818.63 kilometers per hour and that's 4.08 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday the central meridian at zero hours UTC CM1, 260.56 degrees, CM2, 175.95 degrees, CM3, 100.51 degrees. So thanks for subscribing and hitting that subscribe button and that like button. Let everybody that you know that this podcast is happening daily to find out what's happening in the very dynamic and mysterious Jupiter system. We know quite a bit about the Jupiter system, but there seems to be a lot that we don't know, and I would certainly like to know a lot more. It's a very interesting place. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown, and until tomorrow, I bid you peace.